Simi. How you doing everybody? Novabug here, back from Play Expo Blackpool 2023. And yes, it was another fantastic, fantastic couple of days. Again, mainly because of the people, like I always say this every time. I said his name right at the beginning, so he doesn't feel left out. And in fact, he's the only person I'm gonna mention in this video, because otherwise I will miss someone out. So, and I say that now, that's a total lie. I will mention thank people. Of course I would. But loads of people, uh, many, a few new faces I met, which is great to have a chat with them. A few old faces going back for a few day, day, few, few uh, years, which I hadn't seen in a while, which was great to see. Didn't have uh, extensive chats with them, which I would like to have done, unfortunately, uh, such as Dave Price, for example. I uh, would love to have had a, more of a chat with him. Um, there are reasons for that. Uh, lots of people milling around going on and a little, should we say, awkward moment happened on the Saturday, which I'm not going to go heavily into and certainly not going to criticise anybody in particular. No individuals at all, but any, any, I'm not going to criticise any organisation for it uh, because I don't want to go down that route. I want to look at the positives instead. But the positives were fantastic. It was great. Uh, very busy this time. It was, it was actually great to see the place really, really busy, especially on the Saturday. So it's nice to know that there's solid foot in there for more and events to come, especially Blackpool. Hopefully will continue on in earnest for Play Expo. So it was really heartening to see that. And it was also very heartening to see lots of um, lots of traders this time. Many different, uh, uh, you know, you've got lots of different games. All the usual ones were there. Uh, but then you get lots of other little, little smaller stalls there, which is, that was great to see. That was really good to see. So the the traders hall was packed. That was it was wall to wall with stands and exhibitions and stuff like that. And a great chat with um, these guys, uh, Chris and well, not so much Darren. I said hello to Darren a couple of times. I had a good chat with Chris from uh, Quarter Arcades and Numskull, who was actually on one of the panels, of course, as well. Uh, so uh, a few pictures of uh, their lovely wares will be coming up in this very video uh, which hopefully if he gets a certain arcade done this game here I promised him if he, if he gets that game done as a quarter arcade I will buy it I promise I promised him that but apart from that the drive up there was, was okay uh, you know usual traffic on the M6 nothing nothing doing there and everybody and uh, everyone you know there were a few people waiting for me when I got there which is a lovely greeting good old man shovel coming over from the States fucking beauty Bless that man. Uh, but then uh, loads of other people arrive in. Rachel and Lim did his usual double bluff, uh, usual uh, troll on me, which was fun. So that was on the Saturday night. The Friday night, hammered. Was a bit hungover on the Saturday morning, but uh, that got going. Went into the event, had a look around. Played in a few games, a few systems. Met James Ford of the CPC Fanzine. Of course, uh, and he tried to he tried to troll me. Very clever. He tried to tell me by saying the Amstrad was shit as I was playing Burning Rubber on a uh, 464 plus, oh, no, a 6128 plus. Actually. Um, so that was very fun. And next, to Retro Refix came and sat down next to me. I got sandwiched in at that point, and he gave me some uh, presents as well. Uh, they where are they gone? Ah, they're here. So yes, so he sent into the stream if you remember uh, copies of these, and, ne and neither of them worked. Uh, for some reason. This is where Mr. Bin comes from, in fact. So we've got two copies, two box copies of Tintin on the Moon, and uh, two sealed copies of Rock and Roll. Now this this game in particular had a, had a problem loading. Uh, we'll see what happens with these two two ones here. Uh, we've got other ways to load them as well. Yeah, we'll get into that in a second. A um, couple of games, I think they, these came from Retro or Bust's box, I think they did. I'm pretty sure they did, or was it Mikey's box? Might have been, I don't know, I don't think it was even Mikey's box actually. This was Lewis's box, sorry. This was Lewis. Uh, Lewis popped by on the on the Saturday and uh, again, didn't take you know, chance to take goodbye to him. Or even get a photo with Lewis uh, from um, Arcade Club. Lewis from Arcade Club. And uh, he, I, I, I got them two off him. And a mystery tape. And I want to say Lewis gave that to me, but maybe Rob gave it to me or maybe Mikey gave it to me. I don't know. I've forgotten who gave that to me. Shocking. I've got a mystery parcel here, which will be opened on the birthday stream. That was from Retro and Limb. 
God knows what's in there. So I had a brief chat with the guys from Pixel Addict and got myself the copy of uh, Amstrad Addict, of course. Uh, they didn't know who I am. <laughs> I wasn't going to say, oh, I'm never going to do that bullshit. Uh, but yeah, bless them, they didn't actually know who I was. I don't think, uh, hey, that's fine. It would have been nice to be in these pages, but never mind. Hey, I'm not one of the, I, I'm, I'm quite easy on that kind of stuff. Got a lovely piece of artwork from one of the stands. I saw that and I thought, no, that's a lovely print and I'm going to pop that on the set at some point. I'm going to have to probably remove Cyber Chicken, I think. I think it's time to get rid of Cyber Chicken and put War of the Worlds in there, in its place. Um, yeah, so on the Saturday, we went away for a curry. Uh, that was lovely. There's 20 of us coming in, jam-packed. Whoa, 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 they'll bother boys, bother boys and girls. Going in there, Zypho and his lovely missus and Andrea and, his hus and her husband and loads of other people, Pete and... Brian Hooper, of course, and um, God, Manchavel was there, of course. Um, Kane, my, my my friend Kane, I mean, the hug, the hug I got from him. I mean, I'm not going to go into in depth, you know, but uh, long time friend from very, very long time ago, way before I used to do YouTube, was Kane. To, 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 to have, a, have a hug with him after all these years was, um, was something special. It really was something special. So, uh, again, so much going on, didn't have enough time to spend with everybody, especially I would have liked to spend more time with Kane. Um, when we did have a chance to sit down, we had, we had a few good talks. So, like I said, on the Saturday, um, typically a lot of the press holders, such as myself and a few of the other uh, Steam guests, uh, get to go into the after party. And uh, they decided to restrict the after party this year, um, unfortunately. And uh, that kind of put a down on, on, on certain things. But, like I said, I'm not going to focus on the, on the negatives. So what happened is we ended up going down to the other side of the hotel and a great big party down there outside the outside the pub at the end of the hotel, which everybody ended up emigrating to, which was kind of fantastic and kind of heartwarming and solidarity and all that stuff, you know. And it was uh, that was kind of fun. That was really fun. And the Badger was down there, bloody, you know, directing traffic, as was Yellow Belly, of course. So uh, yeah, fantastic. See all those guys to spend time with them. As always, David came down there, Mame Hayes, of course, and he was like, what the fuck are you guys all doing here? Um, so it was good fun. It was good. It was a good laugh, uh, and we made the best of it. And you know what? And because we did that, I think that's it, it just hit home. More importantly, you know, as much as the Norbrook is like, it's like a homing point for us all, and the Plan Play Expo itself is the, is the, is the beacon that flashes. And more important is that that beacon and the homing point brings us all together from all over the world, literally all over the world. Uh, to get to that point, and uh, that's why it's fantastic. It's why I'll never stop going until it until it until the event stops itself, because I still find it is absolutely a thrilling weekend and uh, one of the highlights of my year, all the time. Um, I've got to fix um, this four six four, which the the erstwhile Pete Walker gave to me. He is. I'm not even going to go into well how the, how this thing has been damaged. I will fix it. And finally, oh no no. A couple of little gifts from Yellow Belly, Mega Drive Mini, PS1 Mini. That's nice. And I particularly like this. I don't think it works, but an Amstrad cassette deck. That's, I particularly like that. I really do. Uh, that's going to go well with um, uh, with my 6128, actually. Uh, so, yes, that will be very good. So, the last thing to do is... Uh, oh, I've got to give another present. A final present. Um... Hmm. I don't appear to be wearing it, so I suppose I better wear it now. Right. Um, thank you very much, everyone I met at Play Blackboard. It was fantastic. Uh, good laugh. Another laugh at my expense, but hey, I'm used to that. Roll VT, I guess that man. Um, that's why I have a, I'm not going to go into sort of mentioning shouts or anything because I do that every year. You know, you guys know who you are, and it was great to see all of you, one and all. Um, here's the video, I guess. Enjoy. Neverbug. Out.
Hey, Novabug here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by liking and commenting, and of course subscribing if you haven't already done. If you would like to support me further, please consider joining my bug army via Patreon. And also don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Getter, BitChute and Twitch. And a salute to my bug army generals Sam M, Pete Walker and Shadow80. Thank you everyone for supporting me. Novabug, out.